the cloth does indeed date back to the time of Christ and with artificial intelligence having something to say about the shroud as well. The data stream was confirmed. In a sterile lab in 2025, a team of scientists stared at their screens in stunned silence. The mystery was over. For decades, the Shroud of Turin was caught in a tug of war between faith and science, with carbon dating declaring it a medieval fake. But the thing nobody tells you is that the science was never settled. The image on the cloth was only a few micrometers deep, as if kissed by a flash of light. Now, with new quantum analysis, the true age and origin have been revealed, and the result is an absolute bombshell. The code is cracked. The year is 2025. The world is a place of incredible technology, where artificial intelligence can see patterns the human eye could never hope to detect. For decades, the Shroud of Turin sat in its protected chamber in Italy, a silent challenge to modern science. The results of the 1988 carbon dating test seem to be the final word. Three separate labs all pointed to a medieval origin, somewhere between the 13th and 14th centuries. The case for many was closed. It was a clever fake, a work of art so ingenious that its methods were lost to time. But what many overlooked was that the carbon dating only tested a single tiny piece from a corner of the cloth, a corner that textile experts had long argued was part of a medieval repair. It was like judging an entire ancient scroll by reading a single word from a patch on the corner. This is where our story takes a hard turn into the realm of science fiction. A new non-destructive analysis method called quantum resonance imaging was approved for use on the shroud. To put it mildly, this technology is a game changer. It doesn't need to take a physical sample. Instead, it bombards the artifact with subatomic particles and reads the echo, creating a complete atomic history of every single thread. This was combined with a next-generation AI, one that had been trained on every known textile, pigment, and chemical compound from antiquity to the modern day. The goal was simple, solve the mystery once and for all. Is it a painting, a scorch, a photograph, or something else entirely? The results came in, and they were an earthquake. The first bombshell, the AI found zero traces of paint, dye, or any known pigment. It confirmed what microscope studies had shown for years. The image sits only on the very topmost fibrils of the linen, a discoloration so thin it's less than one-fifth the width of a human hair. It hadn't soaked in, it was laid gently on the surface. A painter would have to be a ghost to achieve this. Then came the second bombshell. The quantum resonance imaging provided a date not from one corner, but from hundreds of points across the entire cloth. The results were stunning. The medieval repair threads from the corner lit up, dating exactly to the period the carbon-14 tests showed. But the rest of the cloth, the vast majority of it, told a different story. It dated to the first century. But the final revelation was the one that left the science team breathless. The AI was tasked with figuring out how the image was formed. It analyzed the spooky three-dimensional information encoded in the image, the way the darkness of the image corresponds perfectly to the distance a cloth would have been from a body. No artist in the medieval period or even today would know how to do that. The AI concluded that the only way to create such an image, one with no directionality, no brush strokes, and perfect three-dimensional data, was a short, intense burst of radiation. An event lasting mere nanoseconds that scorched the image onto the cloth from the inside out. A flash of light that created a perfect photographic negative. The evidence for this impossible event was there all along, hiding in plain sight for over a century. The 1988 mistake. The thing nobody tells you about the Shroud of Turin is that the 2025 discovery didn't happen in a vacuum. It was the final chapter in a detective story that started over 120 years ago. In 1898, an amateur photographer named Secondo Pia was given permission to photograph the Shroud. As he developed the glass plates in his dark room, he nearly dropped them in shock. On the negative, the faint, ghostly image on the cloth appeared as a crystal-clear, positive portrait of a man. The shroud itself was the negative. This was the first WTF moment in the shroud's scientific history. How could a medieval forger create a perfect photographic negative hundreds of years before the invention of photography? It was a clue that pointed to the image being formed by light, not by a hand. 
Many people are crazy about dismissing the other evidence that piled up over the years. Take the pollen. A Swiss criminologist named Max Frey, famous for his work with forensics, took samples from the shroud in the 1970s. Under his microscope, he found pollen grains from dozens of plants. Many were from Europe as expected, but he also found pollen from desert plants that grow only in the region of Judea and Anatolia. This suggested the cloth had a long history in the Middle East before it ever appeared in France in the 1300s. The pollen was a floral fingerprint, tracing a path right back to where the story began. Skeptics tried to dismiss it, but the evidence was there. Then there's the blood, or to be more precise, the blood-like stains. Chemical tests in the late 20th century confirmed the presence of hemoglobin and albumin, components of real blood. What's more, the stains are separate from the main body image. The AI in 2025 confirmed this, showing the body image was created by one process and the blood stains were applied by another, earlier one. It's as if the body was there. Then the blood and then a flash of light burned the image of the body onto the cloth, but not the blood. You see, the image is only a surface dehydration of the linen fibers, but the blood soaked deep into the threads. This completely rules out the idea that it's a simple painting. All these clues, the photographic negative, the pollen, the nature of the blood stains, pointed away from the idea of a medieval forgery. They were all screaming that the 1988 carbon dating was wrong, or at least incomplete. The scientists who raised concerns at the time were largely ignored. They argued that you can't date a complex patched up artifact from a single sample. It was bad science, but it made for a great headline. The 2025 results didn't just bring new information, they proved that the clues to the truth were there all along, waiting for technology to catch up. But the mystery is bigger than one cloth, it connects to ancient riddles all over the world. A riddle wrapped in a global enigma. This is where the story gets really strange. The AI analysis in 2025 didn't just look at chemistry and dates, it looked at geometry. And what it found was, to put it mildly, unsettling. The AI discovered faint symmetries and repeating mathematical ratios in the features of the face on the shroud. Ratios between the brow, the nose, the lips, and the chin that persisted no matter how the image was analyzed. These weren't random marks or folds in the cloth. This was a layer of structured information hidden beneath the visible image. It was an order that seemed almost designed. Now, for the average person watching this, this might just sound like a weird detail. But when you look at other great mysteries of the ancient world, you start to see a pattern. Take the Great Pyramid of Giza. For centuries, people thought of it as just a big tomb. But the thing nobody tells you is that its dimensions and alignment are impossibly precise. It's aligned to true north with an accuracy of 3 60ths of a degree, a feat we would struggle with today. The ratio of its height to its perimeter is a near-perfect approximation of PI. Its measurements even seem to encode complex data about the Earth itself. It's a level of mathematical and astronomical knowledge that, according to mainstream history, the ancient Egyptians simply shouldn't have had. Many people are crazy about ancient astronaut theories, but you don't have to believe in little green men to see the connection. What we have in both the Shroud and the Pyramids is ancient artifacts that contain a level of scientific and mathematical information far beyond the recognized capabilities of their time. The faint symmetries on the shroud, just like the geometry of the pyramids, seem to point to a hidden layer of knowledge or a lost technology. It's as if a highly advanced intelligence left a calling card. Could the burst of radiation that the 2025 AI detected be a natural but incredibly rare physical phenomenon? Or was it something else? You see, the shroud image exists in a weird space between a natural phenomenon and an intentional design. The image itself follows the natural laws of physics, recording the distance from a three-dimensional body. But the hidden mathematical order seems to defy randomness. It's a ghost in the machine. A similar paradox is found in crop circles, which some dismiss as hoaxes while others point to their incredible mathematical complexity. These anomalies challenge our neat categories. They force us to ask, what if there are forces or technologies in the universe that we don't understand yet, which were at play in our distant past?
But if this incredible discovery is true, are we getting the full story? A mystery solved or a new one born? So here we are, a centuries-old mystery finally solved by incredible 21st century technology. The carbon dating was flawed. The shroud is a first century artifact. The image was created by a mysterious burst of radiation that burned a three-dimensional image onto the cloth. It all fits together perfectly. A little too perfectly, maybe. The thing is, whenever a story gets wrapped up this neatly with a bow on top, you have to start asking questions. For the average person trying to make sense of this, it can feel like whiplash. For decades, it was a fake. Now overnight, it's not only real, but it's embedded with layers of impossible data. Is this whole 2025 discovery the truth? Or is it just the newest, most sophisticated story we're being told? Think about it. We are asked to believe that a new, almost magical technology appeared and just happened to solve this one specific mystery. But what about the other details? The ones that don't fit? For instance, if this was a burst of radiation from a body, why is the image so high resolution? Radiation, as we know it, tends to diffuse and blur. How did it create such a clear image right down to the scourge marks and the oval wound on the side? And what about the bigger picture? If this revolutionary technology truly exists, the shroud is just the beginning. What would happen if it were turned on the Antikythera mechanism, the ancient Greek computer that shouldn't exist? Or the pyramids to map every hidden chamber and flaw in the stone? Are we on the verge of having all of ancient history's mysteries solved for us by a machine, rewriting every textbook on the planet? Or is the Shroud a special case, a unique anomaly that defies comparison? The thing is, what many overlooked is that every generation has tried to solve the Shroud with its own cutting-edge technology, and every generation has walked away thinking they had the final answer. In the late 1800s, photography was the miracle tech. When it revealed a perfect photographic negative, many thought the debate was over. It had to be a supernatural snapshot. Then, in the 1970s, it was microscopy and pollen analysis, which traced the cloth's journey back to the Middle East, confirming its historical path. A decade later, the ultimate authority of atomic science, carbon dating, stepped in. The labs in 1988 gave a definitive medieval date, and for the skeptics, the case was finally officially closed. Now, it's AI and quantum physics. Each time we bring our best and brightest tools to this single piece of linen, expecting a simple yes or no. But each time, the answer just creates a whole new set of baffling questions. Maybe the point of the shroud isn't to be a definitive piece of evidence for one side or the other. Maybe it's a mirror. Believers see undeniable proof of a miracle. Skeptics see a masterful, ingenious forgery. And maybe, just maybe, both are wrong. The uncomfortable truth might be that the shroud is a genuine anomaly, a scientific impossibility that exists to point out the giant gaps in our own understanding of the universe. It's a silent 14-foot piece of evidence that says, you don't know as much as you think you do. And perhaps that's the real mystery and the real humbling message. The Shroud of Turin remains a profound enigma forcing us to question the lines between science, history, and belief. What do you think is the real story behind this impossible artifact? Is it a miracle, a lost technology, or a cosmic riddle we will never solve? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more dives into the world's greatest mysteries.